Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm here today to share with you some awesome new products that I got from the recent Customer Appreciation Day sale. I've got a tote bag from Saint. I've got our new palettes. This one is a palette that I actually made myself using alcohol inks. We're gonna go over the Fruit Punch collection. We're gonna go over our newest bronzer. We're gonna go over our newest illuminator. Oh my gosh, there's so much to share. I am so excited, so come join me. I have been waiting quite a while for a big order from Saint. If you don't know this, Saint every year has a customer appreciation day. It's one day only, and customers get up to 20% off their entire purchase. Um, this is not something that happens all the time. I think it's literally once a year. And we have various other uh, deals, like we have a Black Friday deal, and we have an artist's birthday deal. But this one is um, one that brings a lot of excitement with it because you can just get a major haul of Saint makeup and you can get up to 20% off. So um, I also was interested in the many new products that launched during this customer appreciation sale. We had several summer palettes that were launched that are beautiful. We had um, the Fruit Punch Collection, Make a Return, and they added one new color, the grape scented flavor or color. I was so excited about that, so I picked that up. They added a bronzer, an illuminator, and a balm that smells like peaches. So I don't know if I'm missing anything, but I will make sure to go over everything in the box. I basically grabbed everything. I wanted to try everything and be able to share um, the newness with my clients. So that's my um, that's my duty as a sane artist consultant to pick up what's new and share it with my clients, okay? So I'm gonna share it with you today. I'm sure a lot of you guys um, are wondering where these videos are, where these um, photos are of these new products and how they wear on the skin. So we're gonna be one of the first to do that, okay? So I have a big box right here. It came in the mail. Um, I think two days ago. It's huge, okay, because not only did I pick up the new products, I also picked up one of my um, most coveted, I hate that word, but one of my most coveted items that I've been wanting to get is the Makeup Artist Tote. Um, often it will sell out and it's not available and then it pops up and makes an appearance again. So lo and behold, during the sale, um, I stayed up till three in the morning, which is when the new products launched on, um, it was June or was it July? Where, what month are we in right now? It was July 7th when um, all the new products launched. So I stayed up and I went into my artist account and saw that not only do I get the 20% off, but I can pick up a tote at 20% off. And the tote is kind of expensive, so it's not something that I would have purchased without the discount. So let's pick it up right now and see what this looks like. I'm gonna pull it out. So here is the artist tote. A lot of artists out there are wondering if this is worth picking up. So basically, um, I don't do a lot of color matches over the phone. I don't do a lot of color matches over email or texting. Um, when I first started out as an artist, um, and yes, I am a makeup artist. I have a background over 10 years in makeup artistry and I am a fine artist and educator. So I have a background in art, I can say that. But when I first started out, um, I think it was two years ago, um, a lot of clients were interested, they were excited because they were seeing the makeup on my skin and the videos that I were posting. They really wanted to try the product. So I would, you know, without having any say in the matter, I would have to send uh, color recommendations because they were just that excited to try it. Now, normally I, I pretty much beg my clients, please, I would prefer to match you in person. Um, that's just me, I wanna know that I stand behind this product. I wanna know that you get the right color. So I will often go to their house. I'll bring my um, my bag of makeup artistry and brushes and palettes. Um, I used to work for Sephora where you had your own little station and everything was nice and neat and organized and you had the best lighting. Well, you don't have that in somebody's home. 
so one of the things that I complained about was not having an artistry um, case or something to carry all of these products in. At one point, I was even using my daughter's Peppa Pig book bag to carry the stuff in. So this really caught my eye. I am sure there are other options on Amazon and this and that, but this has Saints logo on the front. So let's take it out and, and look at it. Again, I know that there'll be artists on here, same artists that want to see what this looks like. Okay, so here is the tote bag. It is a beautiful cream color. It's got a kind of model texture to it. It feels really nice quality, very sturdy. On the front, you have the Saint Embossed logo. Look at the width of this, guys. Look at the width. This is um, my hand. So you don't normally find a tote bag with this amount of width to it. Um, on the back, you have the zippered pouch. And what is this? It looks like a, um... wow, that's unique. Whoa! Wow, there are two pouches in one. Look here, this is its own pouch with a bottom on it. And then here you have another pouch. So a lot of times I go on the Saint website and there's not, I'm surprised at how little, how few pictures there are of these um, products. That would help sell a whole bunch more of these. Okay, you've got, a. this would be great for your brushes to kind of air out in right here. On this side, you have a zipper. Okay, so that's already really nice, okay. There is a tag hanging from it, Saint tote bag. Let's see the straps. You have short straps, we're gonna take that bubble wrap out. Okay, you have your short straps. I'll try to um, add, add some links to some pictures on Instagram of me wearing this or something like that so that you guys can get a better look at what this looks like when you're carrying it. Um, it is, a zippered, you see here. I didn't realize I would be spending this much time showing you the tote, but it has a lot of features. It has a zippered opening and let's open that and see what we have inside. Okay, we have, oh gosh, guys, this is phenomenal. I had no idea because there's no pictures on their website of this of this bag. So it appears that you get a strap. Okay, so this is going to be to carry on your shoulder. Shoulder strap. It's got a pad. Okay, two hooks. Wow. <laughs> Thought I was just buying an overly priced bag with Saint's name on it. Um, then you get another embossed saint. This is huge. Guys, look at this. It's lined. We'll look inside there. This would be great for brushes as well. And it has a zippered area here on the inside, if you can see that. And you have a Velcro. This is gonna be hard to show you, but let's see if I can get it there. You have a Velcro flap thing here. And there's more area down in there. Oh my goodness. And there's some little slots for brushes and a little compartment here. So I think I've got it all. I think I've covered it all, guys. This is amazing. I'm really happy with this. Um, let me just kind of get up here a little bit and show you that. I've got some crazy leggings on today. But really, really cute bag. Okay, with the strap, and it says safe. Okay. So I will definitely model this for you guys and link some Instagram photos. Okay, so wasn't sure what to expect, but totally excited to use it. 
Now let's get into the newness. Three new colors. Three new colors. Um, I don't remember the colors off the top of my head. I know one is Amalfi. Maybe one is Trinidad or something. Um, these are all summer island expired palettes. They come in all different sizes. I just went ahead because I have so many palettes already. I went ahead and just purchased, um, why am I smelling this? Because I have the Fruit Punch collection over here and I can smell it. It smells amazing. But um, I just purchased the 410 palette. This will fit eight eyeshadow size tens, which are the half size tens, or they will fit a whole size 10, four of those. This is the yellow color with the gold, gold lettering on it. Then I have the orange. Again, I'll list what these names are. So yes, they do have these in the larger palettes as well. I wonder which one you guys prefer. Now, I don't know if you've seen some of my other videos, but um, I did some alcohol inking on some of my older beat up palettes. I wonder how the alcohol ink would look on these. They're so pretty already. The colors are so gorgeous that I probably will not experiment with the alcohol inks on these, but let me know if you would like me to. Okay, there's the green. I like that one a lot in the yellow. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get to um, the colors. So Saint has recently changed over to packaging all of their tins in a little drawstring bag, okay? So this will keep the lids on and keep everything um, nice and neat when you get it. Okay, and I have all these new colors to try. So let's pull them out and put them inside one of our new palettes. All right, first of all, I have High Tide. High Tide is our newest bronzer, okay? We're gonna put that on. And you may be asking how this compares to Bella. Here is Bella, and here is High Tide. Okay, quite a difference. Bella comparatively looks more neutral and this definitely has more warmth. Let's put it in the orange palette. And this goes right here. We will try these on in order. I normally like to do bronzer last, so we'll do this one in just a minute. Then I have Sunshine State, which I already had one. Okay, but I wanted to grab another. And at the time I had thought that this was gonna be um, a limited edition, but they just made this a staple in the line. So there's Sunshine State. It's got gorgeous gold shimmer. There they are. Okay, new colors. Then I have Watermelon. I have to say out of all the Fruit Punch collections, this is probably one of the best smelling. This is a beautiful um, mauve fuchsia pink. It's gorgeous. And it's a balm, so you don't see a lot of shine like you would with the glosses. But it does have a dewiness, but without being greasy looking. So I have the new shade, the new Fruit Punch collection shade. This is great. A lot of people were afraid to try this one, so guess what? We have it here. Let's smell it. it. Smells just like grape. Can't say I like the smell as much as the watermelon. It smells amazing. I have Nova. Nova is a new cream illuminator. All right, there's Nova. We're gonna give that a try. It's not as dark as the color glow. And then lastly, this must be the peach balm. And it smells just like peaches, okay? And this is one of my um, favorite products from Saint. If you feel like you need more shine, 
um, on the lips or you need to prep the lips prior to putting the lip products on. Some of the satin colors are kind of dry on the lips, but they have really good staying power. The balm is a good way to prep your lips. Now we also make a lip conditioner and those come in flavors as well, like vanilla and mint, but they're not as emollient as the balm. So now we have uh, a peach flavored version of that. So I'm gonna put that in my palette, okay? So we're gonna give those a try. And I just wanna tell you that I've also picked up another item. Before we begin, I'll show you this. A lot of us have been wanting to know if these um, aisle palettes, I-S-L-E, the hard case palettes are worth purchasing because they're rather expensive. So this was a perfect day during the customer appreciation sale to pick up one of these. So let me show you how this comes packaged. Really nicely packaged. I'm gonna kinda get this out. Wow, very thick, very substantial. It really comes beautifully packaged. We have a little pull tab here. We're gonna slide it out. And there is the palette. Very shiny, lacquered look, silver edging, Saint push button logo on the front. So maybe the paper palettes are not your favorite. Maybe you would rather pick up a few of these more luxurious palettes. So I'm gonna open this and you have a mirror and your area down here. Now these were made for eyeshadows, but you could certainly put other products in here. I'm going to peel away the mirror so that you can see that. All right, and there's the gorgeous mirror inside. Okay, so there we go. And it closes just like that. It opens very easily. It's not hard at all. It's not really a push button at all. You just kind of open it like a clamshell. So this is just the logo. It's not a push button. Okay, so I love that. Just wanted to show you that palette. This is the smaller one and they also have one that is larger. I did go ahead and do my makeup this morning just to be ready. I didn't want to do another long video. I did an hour video just a few days ago. Um, make sure to watch that because it goes over some of the hot topics regarding Saint, being wax-based, um, being a scam and all this. So if you're interested in hearing my take on that, please go and watch the GR, um, GRWM Get Ready With Me video covering Lilac Street and Saint. But anyways, um, I have my makeup done already. I have on Tawanda eyeshadow, which is a gorgeous, pinky gold shimmery eyeshadow. Okay, it's gorgeous. Um, I went ahead and put the colors that I used on my eyes inside of this palette. Now you might be wondering, wow, that's a pretty palette. I've never seen that one before. That's because I took the Chateau White palette that Saint sells and I did uh, alcohol inks, okay? The alcohol inks by a company called Ranger. You can get them from Michaels. I did gold, I did teal, and a white pearl mixed together, and I got this beautiful effect. I did go in and lacquer the top with some acrylic spray by Krylon. So if you have any questions about that, let me know, and I'll link my other video on how to do this. But the Tawanda is gorgeous. I have that on my lid, and that one is right here. Look at how, trying to catch some light here. Lighting is key, guys, lighting is key. Um, this is the Tawanda, I use this on the lid. I use the Holly, which is a kind of an orangey warm brown in the crease and on the corner. Then I used um, Havana as kind of a transition shade. And then I used, um, what is this color? I always get Sabrina and Drift mixed up. This is Drift. I use this underneath my brow because I don't like an overly shimmy, shimmery um, brow. 
And then I use the Glamazing Illuminating Powder kind of in the inner corner. Okay, so I'll let you kind of look at that. Those are my eyes. I have on Hazel as my main foundation shade. I have on Athens as my brightening foundation shade in the inner corners, along the jaw, on the nose. And then I have on Cedar Contour, which is a really natural contour. Okay, and I contoured my nose and everything. On my brows, I used um, Demi Color NV Plus One. Um, if you don't know this, Demi is also a Saint brand of makeup, but it's a, a higher concentration of wax. They're, they're even longer wearing than the cream makeup, and they are color correcting um, pigments that you can use just to spot correct areas. They are meant for women that prefer that unmade up look. They want natural, but I love them underneath the eyes and I love them on the brows, okay? There's lots of different uses uses on how to use Demi. So let's pull out some of these new products. I said I wanted to try the grape, so we're gonna do that. So I always like to try, um, let me scoot in a little bit. I always like to try it with my finger first. Then I go in with one of my favorite blush brushes. This is called the Shape Brush. It was originally, it was originally a Demi brush, but a lot of us like to use it for, um, a lot of us like to use it for, that's good lighting right there, for blush. So let's try our finger. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger of the grape. Let's see what this does alone. And let's go in and put it right here. Oh my God. Wow. That is so pretty. Why are people afraid of this? It's a um, kind of a neon, I don't know how to explain it, like an iris color. So now I'm gonna apply it with the brush. This is so different, so beautiful. You have to get this. We don't have anything like this. Okay, um, I'm gonna dip in with my shape brush and I'm gonna put it on the cheeks here. If you want, I can do grape on this side and then I can do the watermelon on the other. This is so pretty. And it smells amazing when you're putting it on. You can see it. And it's not really a purple, it's kind of a, a purple pink. Just a really pretty uh, sheer flush of color. Okay, really complements what I'm wearing today. Complements the shadow as well. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, now let's try it on the lips, okay? Um, with the balm that's this light, we're gonna probably need to do a liner. So I'm gonna take my finger Okay, and we're gonna apply it on the lips. Sometimes I wonder why you keep talking like you don't give a fuck about me. You've got a piece of me and honestly my life wouldn't be. And on the lips it is quite fun. I used to wear colors like this all the time. Mm -hmm. Really, really fun. I like it. Um, definitely a statement color. Let's grab our contour color cedar, which I have been using to line my lips. Yes, we have a lip liner called Suede, um, and I like that one too, but I just don't have it handy. So this is the um, cedar contour. We're just gonna take the lip brush here and we're gonna line our lips. Yeah, I'm gonna need to powder because I'm sitting in front of this hot window. I'm in Florida. But you can see that the makeup looks beautiful still. Don't lie to me. 
One side of my mouth is always smaller. I think it's this side. All right, that is so pretty. Okay, let's see what happens when we take a little bit of sunshine state over the top. So I'm gonna just take a quick picture. Of the grape. Okay, got it. Now let's see what happens when we do sunshine state on the lips. Take my finger and move in. Oh gosh, that is amazing. It's like a duochrome look. This is a perfect color for the Tawanda eyeshadow. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Isn't that just pretty? Okay, so that is the great Fruit Punch collection on the cheeks and lips. We're gonna try the watermelon on the other side. All right, on this side, we're going to do the watermelon. On this side, we have grape on the lips as well. Very pretty. Saint is just hitting these out of the ballpark. Every launch has been great recently. Their lip and cheek colors are one of my favorite products. Now this is the watermelon. Okay, I'm gonna take my finger and rub in here. Okay, you get a lot more color payoff with the finger. It just depends on the formula. And I love, love, love the smell of these Fruit Punch blushes. All right, so you get a lot more color payoff. Both are gorgeous. I would say this is the most unique. We, we have never had a color like this that has that just soft focus, hint of purple, hint of lilac. And then the, the um, watermelon is gorgeous. Smells amazing. Your brushes will smell absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just kinda go along the outside of the eyes just to kinda push that a little bit more. Okay, so now we're gonna take off the grape and try the watermelon on the lips. I hate to do it. Cause that was such a pretty color. Now let's try on the watermelon. So I have cherry, and cherry is definitely more red. And this is more pink. All right, there we go. We're gonna do some lining with the cedar contour. really pretty I love it and let's put our sunshine state over the top I think the sunshine state complements all of these fruit punch collections really beautifully loving that But I mean, I love that, that's gorgeous. You know, but I have to say that that grape color is outstanding. This is the grape 
this is the watermelon. Watermelon with uh, sunshine state over the top. Now, let's see what we are missing. Okay, so we have our two fruit punch collection colors that we just used. Now let's go in and do some bronzing. We are gonna try the new high tide bronzer. I'm gonna take my, uh, blah, 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 my blush and bronzer brush, which is my favorite. I'm gonna pinch it. A lot of people complain, oh, the tints are too small. Okay, they last forever though. Just pinch your brush and pinch your brush and hush. Okay, and we're gonna go in and just tap. Okay, that way you get just a little bit on the brush. Then where do I apply bronzer? Since I already have contour on, um, and it's kind of washed out right now because I'm in direct sunlight, um, but the contour would go here, your blush here, your illuminator would go on top of your blush, and the bronzer goes back in this area outside of the eyebrow, and then up like a C over the brows. Okay, and of course you can put some on your nose, on your neck, that's where it goes. So I'm just gonna take this and try this new color called High Tide. And just kind of warm up the face a little bit. Because I do look a little bit flat today. Now I love Bella. And I can already see that High Tide has a lot more color to it. Okay, but that might be good for picking up this warmth that I have in my um, my shoulder. So it kind of harmonizes everything. All right, let's do some on this side. Ooh, got a little bit too much there, guys. Bella is a little bit more forgiving. So bronzer will unify and soften the transitions between all the different products on your face, between the blush, the contour. I'm gonna go right across the bridge of my nose. Just like that. Give that sun-kissed look. Let's go on the neck. Really see that. But it blends in. Okay, so you're definitely getting a lot more color payoff. A lot of people have said that Bella does not really show up on them. If that is the case, I would definitely try this. And then we have Heat Wave, which is really, really a redder, a much redder bronzer. It might be too dark for some, okay? So isn't that pretty? It does pick up the warmth. I'm even gonna go on my chest here and add some warmth there. Everywhere that needs that, that unification. Love it, it's pretty. That's what I love about this brand is everything is so blendable. Now let's try some Illuminator. Let's try and I think I'm gonna have to powder my face in the end. And I do love our vanilla dust powder because it really does take away the shine in this area, which isn't bothering me, I don't hate it. Okay, let's try the color Nova. That's the color, Ooh, pretty gold. I'm gonna go right here. Let's lean in, Touch the, touching the light. Ooh, it is amazing. Let's pick up our, um, our reflector so we can really see that. That's Nova. Can you see it? I think we're gonna probably see it better on this side. So the, we have two formulas of illuminators we have these which are cream and then we have the 
um, powders, which are more intense. The creams only show up when you turn your head, when it catches the light. The powders you can see, so they're a little bit more dramatic. Really pretty. Just that little bounce of light. I put some on the nose as well. So I'm loving all that. Now we're gonna top everything off with some of this peach balm. It's gonna add a lot of shine, you're gonna find. Very emollient. Of course you can use it by itself too. It just gives a lot of moisture to your lips. So pretty. All of these new products. Peach tastes amazing. Let's finish up with the powder. I'm gonna take my um, shape brush and just go in and kind of go right through this hot cheek area, which gets kind of shiny, but I notice as I get older, I'm not as shiny as I used to be, okay? Um, what brightener did I use today? I used Athens, so we can go in and just add a little bit more. Like that. Now that we're in the sunlight, we can really see what we're doing. So everything just looks gorgeous, guys. I cannot say enough about this makeup. I love it. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. So we went over shadows, we went over our two new Fruit Punch collection colors I just received, um, grape being the newest. If you wanna see cherry, and if you want to see um, tangerine and pineapple, I use those in another video. I use those in another video. So you should go through and watch all my videos. I showed you the shadows that I used today. I got this color today and I absolutely love it, Tawanda. I was afraid it was going to be too pink, but it's got a nice bit of shimmer. And then we went through um, our new bronzer, okay, um, High Tide, Sunshine State is our newest lip and cheek. Um, it was something that we had launched way back when, it was limited edition, they found that it's so popular we need to make it a staple. Peach flavored balm and then the Nova is a gorgeous illuminator, very natural. And of course we went over our Saint bag. Let's go ahead and take some snapshots. 